Hi everybody. All right. So I have another long awaited haul that I should have filmed a long time ago. I'm talking about more than a year ago, but you know, I just never got around to do it and now I have the time. All right. So this haul is a culmination of um, many shopping trips that I've taken to what I call the Amazon return stores or the bin stores. The reason why I call them bin stores is because, um, so basically, and I've mentioned this in my previous videos before. So we have in my hometown, we have three of these bin stores. Now these are stores that will go and they will purchase stuff that's returned to Amazon. So these sellers, when they get their, when they get returns, they tend, you know, some of them don't want to resell it back on Amazon. So they'll throw all the stuff into a ginormous box. And so these companies, um, these stores will go and purchase them by the pallet. They can be, depending on the type of merchandise in the boxes um, to the size of the boxes or pallets, uh, they can range anywhere from like $300 to like $1,000. And, um, you know, the sellers don't really say exactly what's inside of them, but they will kind of give you an idea. You know, there's some electronics, you know, possibly like, let's say like um, PlayStation 5s, you know, there's computers, there's iPhones, you know, things like that, um, that make obviously the boxes go up in um, value and price. And then just a wide assortment of stuff. So um, one of the stores did at one point sell these, um, these ginormous boxes to the public. Um, you could just walk in and just like, hey, okay, I'll buy this giant box for like $500. And then you, you know, it's like whatever you get in there, hey, you can resell it. So anyway, so um, these stores started popping up here in Memphis about three years ago. And um, like I said, there's three of them in my hometown itself. So um, I was like really, really into it for like the first two years. And then I kind of slowly stopped shopping there because at some point, you know, you start accumulating so much stuff and then you're just kind of like, okay, I don't really need to go there. So, um, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you some of the things that I recently bought. I had been going there on the $1 and 50 cent days. So this is how it works. So two of the stores, um, what they do is on Fridays, they restock the store or the bins. So they have these ginormous tables, um, that they will put stuff on and everything in the store on Friday is $8. Then the next day, Saturday, $6. Then Sunday, $4. Monday, $2. Uh, Tuesday, $1. Wednesday, 50 cents. And then they are closed on Thursday because they have to restock all of those bin tables. Uh, the other store, they are a little bit different. They actually move their opening day to Saturday, which is better because more people can go because they're not going to work. Um, so theirs is $8 on Saturdays. And then it just, they don't close. They're just open seven days a week. Right. So today I went to that store and today was 50 cent day. But anyways, I'm just going to go through all the stuff that I have to show you and I'll tell you how much I got it for. Okay. So I want to start off with, uh, this, I didn't get this bag at the bin store, but it's been all over Instagram. And I, yeah, I went on, um, last Saturday to Trader Joe's because I had to get the calamansi mango sorbet. Uh, calamansi is like a Filipino, a Filipino citrus that is like sour and sweet. Really, really good. We use it in a lot of different um, recipes. And so I saw that they had the mini totes and they're $2.99 and they had them. So I went ahead and grabbed one and now it's like, I kind of wish I'd gotten more, but they only had them in blue. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and see if they have them in the other colors for $2.99. And it's really, really good quality. It's like really heavyweight canvas. So I'm going to show you what I did get. I got this for $1. Okay. At one of the stores. So it's one of those purse inserts, you know, that's made out of that really thick felt. And you can see it comes with, you know, a zippered um, pocket. And then it has all of these slots here, you know, and it, fit perfectly inside this bag. So, I mean, technically this bag could be like my planner tote, you know? So I was thinking uh, that I might use this 
before when I um, want to go and journal, you know, like at Starbucks or whatnot, and I can fit my um, my Delphonics that my dear friend Clarissa was able to get me in Japan. So yeah, I still have room in here to fit it. So yep. So that was like a cute little buy that I have. Next that I have to show is this pouch. Now I got this actually um, two years ago and I was able to get one for $4 and then I got the same exact one for $1, right? So I have two, I haven't even opened the other one, but it's a huge pouch, okay? And I keep planner stuff. This was originally my planner um, pouch, but then I have the Delphonic, so I put, I use that now, but this is like my backup. So in here, I want to show you this was something that I found for $4. It's a Hobonichi, um, Hobonichi A6 and it's the leather. This is in like, what was the color again? I can't remember, but it was not, it was from 2022, I believe. And I could not believe when I found it. See, still has it was brand new never opened it was still in the packaging like the plastic and i knew exactly what it was when i saw it um that's the great thing whenever i come across hobonichi stuff nobody knows what it is and i always find it on the cheap day see even came with uh i'm not even sure what this was a bookmarker or whatever so um yeah and i have my um i have a day free i believe in here well yeah so that is my a6 day free now, this, I did not purchase this cover from, um, from the bin stores. I actually got this from Etsy. And, but what I did get from the bin store was this Hobonichi Techo um, cousin. Okay. It's from 2022. I actually found this in 2022 at the bin store for $4. Brand new, never used. Um, I already had a cousin at the time, so I didn't really need it. So I just saved it, you know. And this is the old Tomo River paper, okay? Now, um, I figured that I could just use this as a day free. And yeah, you know, I don't really need the dates. I could just cover that up if I want to. But um, it has more pages than the actual day free. So, you know, I'm so glad that I was able to find that. Uh, let's see, what else? Is there anything else in here that was from there? No, okay. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. All right. So some of the stuff on my desk here. So uh, last Friday, I went for 50 cent day and I was able to find these. Um, there's another one. Hold on. Where is it? Because I was able to find one today. I actually went today after work and um, found another one. Yeah, and today is 50 cent day. Okay. So what's that? Wait a minute. Where is it? This is from yesterday. So where is today's stuff? Uh, here it is. Okay. So you're probably wondering, why do I have so many of these? <laughs> well, they're 50 cents for one, and I can, you know, give it to my friends and my family. So these are those loop earplugs, um, you know. So I'm going to show you, I guess I'll show you the Equinox one. So these, like I said, they were 50 cents, but on Amazon, they're retailing for 24 or more dollars, I think. So you get the little um, replacement, you know, plugs, I guess, whatever you want to call them. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? And I'm so glad that it was in mint color. So, yeah. And these are all different colors, each of these. And then they also are different types in terms of like how much um, noise it can block out. But I wish I had these when I went to um, the Janet, Jan Janet Jackson concert last spring because um, it would have helped. It was pretty loud um, there. But I was able to find Zen White Magic Mint. This was um, ambi Ambient Sunrise. So the cases, that's what it looks like. Here, I'll show you what the other ones are. I just like that it has those loops because it does make it easier to pull out of your ear. What color was this again? Yeah, it's all white. I'll show you what the um, Magic Mint looks like. So I can also give these um, to my nieces. 
for when they travel as well. Or, you know, they want to block out their annoying brother. <laughs> so it's in a much more lighter version of mint. And then we got essential black, which is, um, yeah, they're just regular black ones in here. And then I was able to find this one today right here, the loop engage plus, I don't know what the difference is. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but look at that. There's like a whole bunch of these replacement ones, which was interesting. That's why I was curious. It's like, what's the difference between these? So, you know, obviously, um, some of these were already were sealed, like they were never opened. Right. And then some of them were open. So I'm, um, sanitizing them obviously before use they pretty fit pretty comfortably in the ear so not a bad deal for 50 cents right um i was able to find this it was kind of funny because my brother gave me an ear tag and because we need to track our dad my dad is turning 85 this year and sometimes he just likes to get up and just leave the house and we need to know where he's going because he's got Meniere's disease, so he's got hearing aids, can't hear very well, you know, being almost 85. I mean, you know, the reflexes are not as quick as they used to be. And we really need to know where he is if he leaves the house. So he gave me an air tag, which I snuck into his car. Um, my brother gave me the air tag and I just happened to find these now that it was a pair. So I've already put one in our dad's car and I got this for 50 cents it worked out, you know? So yeah. Um, we told him we put an air tag in there. So that way if the car gets stolen, we know where it is, but that's not the truth. That's not why it's in there. <laughs> that way he's not going to be all like, who are you, you know, tracking me? Um, okay. This was on my desk. So I found these, these are Tauschabons. I think that's what it's called. Let me get up really close. So these are like little sweets. I figured, um, you know, I could show my nieces how to decorate their phones if they want to use these. You're really cute. It's a whole pack. There's like a hundred pieces in here, just different candies and desserts, I think. And I believe I got that probably for $4, maybe even less. Cause I don't like to go anymore on, um, Fridays on the full, you know, like the $8 days, it used to be $7 and then they raised it up to $8. Cause even though that's when you can find the, some of the best stuff, I'm at a point now where I just have too much stuff and I don't really need <laughs> to go there on those days. I'm, I'm just fine going on $1 day or um, 50 cent day and just find little stuff. So, um, next thing I have here are these, um, these are the smartwatch cases. So I have a, a Galaxy 5 um, smartwatch and these fit my watch. This is from another set that I had found, but this right here, I got it for $1, this whole set. So, you know, when this breaks, then I can just replace it with another one. Hey, I don't know how much these go for on Amazon. I haven't looked yet, but um, at least I have a whole pack. I've actually got three packs, I think, because one had already cracked when I was in San Francisco. So yeah, so this is like the second um, case that I've put on. And it's holding up actually pretty well. It's actually, I think, a little bit better than these. But you know, if I get bored with this, then I can just swap it out. So I found this last week for 50 cents. Um, it's just a uh, iridescent, you can see there. I don't know. I would... It's only 50 cents and I figured I could give it to my nieces. Um, yeah. So I found this pack of pens. I believe I got this probably on $4 a day. And these are similar to the Sarasa um, vintage ones, right? Of course, the Sarasa ones write even more smooth, but these aren't bad. I do like them. The colors are really nice. So yeah, I figured, okay. Uh, I found this case for 50 cents. It's an Amazon... Um, was it a Kindle Kindle case, right? Problem is, is my Kindle is a little bit, just a tad too small for it. So I'm kind of pissed. I can't use it. <laughs> um, but I mean, I got it for 50 cents. I'll probably just donate it. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I have this, which is a US, no, 
it's not a USB, it's an HDMI cable. That's the thing. It's like, you know, whenever I need stuff like that, I don't even bother to order on Amazon. I just go to the store because I know I'm going to be able to find it. And I did. I found it for 50 cents, you know, and this is a um, ultra high speed 8K, right? Because I'm going to be getting an, what is this? An external monitor uh, for my laptop, another monitor basically. And I needed another HDMI. Well, actually I needed an HDMI cable. And for some reason I couldn't find the one that I had before. Plus I think that one was like too long, like 10 feet or something like that. And I don't need that long of a cord so I can save that one for our TV. So I picked that up, found these, um, stickers also 50 cents. It's not the, it's not the full pack. There's a whole bunch of months that are missing. But it's okay because um, I can still make use of them if I wanted to. And yeah, 50 cents. Uh, these were just some spare bags. Okay. Found this. This was really pretty. 50 cents. It's supposed to be for like the restaurant, you know, when you, um, well, what it said on the packaging was like, it was uh, for like when you, I think when they give you the check at the restaurant. But that's kind of odd that it has a zipper. So I'm thinking maybe it's more for like your passport, you know, and then your boarding pass. So I just like the, um, what do you call these? Leaves. I can't even think now. Genko. I think they're Genko leaves. I just thought it was really pretty. And then also found this for 50 cents. And it's the um, pouch, you know, for like your phone when you go to the beach. It's always good to have these and I got it for my sister for her kids. So if they go to the beach this summer, um, cause all three of them now have their own phone and you know, the last thing we need is for it to get wet. So got that for 50 cents. So I'm going to move on here. Um, so I sometimes try to hold off on purchasing stuff from Amazon or just online because you never know when you're going to find it at these stores. And, you know, I've been curious about the Moterm planners, right? Because a lot of people talk about them and rave about the quality of the vegan leather and, you know, all that stuff, right? So I never thought that I would actually come across one of them when I went to the bin store. And it was funny because as soon as I saw it in the bin, I knew exactly what it was. And here you go. It's an A5. It's like in a taupe color and it's the pebbled. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. Right? So I think this is the Versa 2. Okay. Oh, that's my receipt from Wonka. So I love that it has all of these um, features, right? This is brand new. It was actually not even in the plastic bag that, you know, when uh, that they put the return stuff in. It was just, I think somebody took it out was what it was and then just put it down because they didn't know what it was. You're technically not supposed to be opening the bags or the boxes when you go to these bin stores. Some of them are very strict about it. And then some of them, they just don't have enough staff to like keep track of these people that are doing it. Um, one of the stores actually will ban you if they catch you, um, opening the stuff without bringing it to the opening tables. They'll have tables set up where you can open the boxes and the packaging, but you have to seal it back up. And they provide you with the tape. They provide you with the, um, the what do you call it, box cutters, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, they've actually banned people. And they've caught people, like, trying to steal, like, stuffing some of the boxes with more stuff. It's like, oh, my God, you're already getting this stuff for cheap you know? So, um, anyways, so yeah, there's a lot of pockets in this. There's a pocket there and then you have the planner here. Okay. So all these slots and then you have this and then all of those again, you know? So anyways, um, this I found yesterday for $1. It's all weather level pattern, loose leaf hundred sheets and it, it fits in here. It's a little bit wide, but man, this paper is so interesting because it's, a uh, it's very thick. It's like the density of the paper is really thick and it's smooth, but it's a weird kind of smooth, not a smooth, like the Japanese, um, paper. It's still smooth, but I just know, I'm just curious if it's going to work really well for, um, fountain pen ink. So I'm going to test it out. So I put that in here um, just so that this will hold its shape. And I might, you know, might do the testing in that. 
So we have that. Let me go through the bag here. Oh, <sighs> I got, I found this for $1 and it doesn't fit my phone. I'm so pissed. Um, it is like an, I think this is actually made for the, um, the t note 20, the regular one. I have the ultra because I know that the regular note 20 has the rounded corners and mine with the ultra has the squared corner kind of like that. So I was just so bummed that I couldn't even use it because I am a big sailor moon fan. I have been since the early, well, the mid nineties. So yeah, I can't even use it. It sucks. I'll probably have to donate that as well. Like I said, only a dollar. Found this book today for 50 cents. It's called The Well-Tempered Sentence, a punctuation handbook for the innocent, the eager, and the doomed. I thought this was interesting. <laughs> um, so right here, it's going to have exclamation, uh, exclamations, ex, um, explanations of like, you know, just basically how to use the period, question mark, exclamation point and so on and i was gonna let my nieces um read this so then that way you know they'll understand how to use um punctuation okay so what else we got here okay so i found this this i got for one dollar which helps because these are resistant bands i already have the resistant bands like the loop ones but i didn't have these and so I was really, really happy to find them. I got them for, yeah, like I said, only a dollar. And yeah, see, all of them are there. The packaging was a little, was like all smushed up, but that's okay. Um, everything was intact, you know, and this is the kind of bags that you'll usually find stuff in if it's not in a box. It's these return bags. I mean, you probably see it when like, if you go to like Kohl's or something like that, when you return stuff. So um, yeah. What else? Uh, found this for a dollar. Um, might give it to my nieces. These are um, stencils. But I like that it's got like the circles and the squares. No. These, not entirely sure what it's, you know, what it's specifically for. If it's for engineering or whatnot, it might be. But hey, there's five of them. Got them for one dollar. Now this one, oh gosh, sometimes, you know, you should just like really stop and just ask them to open it for you. And I didn't because I was kind of in a hurry. And I looked at this and thought that these were freaking luggage tags, right? Because that's kind of what it looks like. Because I did find some that somebody had taken out of the bag, but I still did not look closely enough. I mean, you'd look at it, you'd see that loop right there, you'd think, Hmm, probably a luggage tag, right? And I thought, oh, wow, found a game controller with that loop, luggage tag. Well, I get home and open it up and I'm like, uh, where's the strap? And then uh, I can't even put my name and stuff information. What is this? Because the packaging didn't really specify what it was, right? And I was just like, ah. Uh, that's sometimes the problem is that these companies will cover up what, um, I don't know if I have an example here. Okay, here we go. This is an example. So this is the tag that you would normally see on an Amazon package when you get uh, like the item, right? But these companies will slap on their own, like a sticker to cover up what it is. I don't know why. Okay. Um, so sometimes you can't even like see what the, you know, item description is. So, oh, gosh, it didn't come out. Let me pull it out from here. So yeah, so I was just like, it's got to be luggage tags because that's what it looks like, right? Well, no, it's not luggage tags. These are freaking, oh gosh. Even this, look, this is what it came in. This, I mean, this little card thingy still doesn't even say. Well, actually, now I see it here. So can you still guess what this is? <laughs> you are going to be surprised. So these are teething toys. <laughs> it's actually pretty good quality. Um, but the problem is I don't have any siblings that have babies anymore. They're all pretty much done. The youngest is uh, turning six this year. And currently I don't know anybody that's having a baby. 
So I'm like, great. I guess I'm going to have to donate these as well. Great. $3 I just spent. And you cannot return stuff. All seals are final. So yeah, that's going to have to go into the donate stash. Uh, what else did I find here? Okay. So I found this and that's the great thing about these stores. A lot of people don't, there's not a lot of crafters that go. And I found this um, collage material stickers is what they called for 50 cents today. Beautiful colors, right? I mean, this is the stuff that we order from Shein, uh, AliExpress, Temu, you know, even Amazon. So let's see, what else did I find here? This was 50 cents. Um, I know that this will come in handy because me, my sister, one of my sisters and a niece, we are Android. We use Android, right? So this is actually um, a dongle or whatever you call it to connect your phone to like a computer. I guess you want to dump the pictures. So this is the one that you connect to your computer. This has a USB-C, right? Now, this also can be used for um, as a memory card um, reader. So you've got the mini SD and then the SD card right there. So yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is going to come in handy. And for 50 cents, I mean, especially when you're traveling too, and you've taken a lot of pictures on your phone and then it's like, you know, you need to dump it because a lot of phones nowadays, um, they don't have that, especially Android, they don't have the, uh, what do you call it? The external, um, you know, memory, like my Samsung um, Note 20 Ultra is the last model that Samsung put out that had that you can put an S a mini SD card in. So right now I have like a 256 gig card on there and I moved all my pictures over and I think it's only eating up about maybe seven gigs. <laughs> so it'll last a long time. So this is when I eventually upgrade my phone, this will come in really handy when I want to dump all of those pictures off of the phone. So, okay. Found these. There are two of them. Uh, these are pop-up cards with envelopes. And this one just says thankful. And I thought, you know, I can give these to my mom. She can use them to send to her friends. Uh, what else we got? Oh, uh, here's another one I got to donate. Unless there's anybody out there that wants them. I thought that these watch bands would fit my watch. Because they do look like they would. I don't know. They might. I'd have to, I have to really look at them but um yeah so i kind of held up the package because i didn't open them but i'm not sure the thing is it didn't come with the um with the little metal um thingies so i don't know if these are going to fit because it's definitely i don't know if these are even iphone to be honest but this was only a dollar for like five of them. So yeah, I'll check. If not, I will see if my sister can use them on her iPhone. I mean, iPhone, iWatch. Uh, okay. Found this for a dollar. These are, uh, what do you call them? Sunglass cases. So I could always use them because, you know, uh, that way I don't have to always pull out my case from my current purse. And if I, you know, I've got other sunglasses, I could just stick one in another purse. So this is like a faux leather. Life is a journey, the simpler, the happier. And yeah, it'll fit. This will fit my sunglasses, right? And there's three of them and I can definitely give the other ones to my mom because she's got, she's got tons. I don't know why she's got like five pairs in her car, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I have a lot too, but not as much as my mom. She's always getting them from these bin stores for like, you know, 50 cents or a dollar or something. So it got to the point where I was getting mad at her because she was just getting too many of them. And I told her, you, you need to do something with them. So she took them with her to the Philippines where she's at right now. And she's just going to give them to the poor people because <laughs> she bought a lot of other stuff like clothes and stuff for like 50 cents and a dollar to donate to them. Okay. So I found this yesterday for a dollar. These are just envelopes, but they're really, really big. Um, actually, this is going to be perfect because it'll fit the tags that I've been making. Um, and that way they're protected. So actually, let me pull, one, pull it out right now. 
I'm back. I didn't realize that it had stopped recording, so I have no idea where I stopped. So anyways, I just wanted to say I found these envelopes yesterday for a dollar, and these are the perfect size for tags. Um, I'm sending one to my friend. Hold on, let me take them out because it will protect them in the thing. So as you can see, here are the tags that I made her, right? And... I can just slide them right in. Yay! And look at that. It will seal. And I'm just going to use a sticker or do wax seal on it. I'm so happy for $1. Okay. All right. So I'm going to clear off this desk here because, oh yeah, this I've also found, and I've featured it in a previous video, um, I found at the bin stores. So let's put everything else back in the bag um maybe it cut off i don't know if this was featured this these are sunglass cases there's three in a pack i got it for a dollar okay see look at that look at all the stuff that i have bought <laughs> like i said you're you know you will fill up a cart when you get there when you start finding stuff and it's great when you find crafting stuff because like I said, there's not many crafters that go to these stores and um, a lot of people just ignore it. So I'm so lucky to find it when it's like on 50, you know, $1 and 50 cent day. So, um, and I'm going to show you the, the biggest find in terms of like as a journal, um, a planner person or journaler. Okay. So here's another bag. Let's see, what's this? Okay, so here are some more earplugs. Uh, this is a different brand, but it's the same design. It's those loops, right? And the cute little tiny pouch and the replacement things are in there as well. So that was found on Dollar Day. Uh, oh, this one I was really excited to find. It's a makeup brush holder because I usually, when I travel, I usually, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear any face, you know, like uh, foundation or anything like that. I tend to wear only just like, I just do my eyeliner and my brows, right? So because I'm doing brows, you know, the powder that I use is really dark and I usually use just like a Ziploc bag, but my um, brushes can't fit some of these Ziploc bags. So I found this. And this is long enough to fit. So it's just like, basically, you just slide them in, all right? And this should just be easy to clean since it's silicon. And um, I like the tan color. So found that. Although I wouldn't have mind if it was red. I was hoping it was red when I got it. These, I found two more of these today. And I gave one, I found two of them yesterday. So I got two for $2 and then two for one dollar today so it's the blue lizard australian sunscreen um spf 50 i got this because i am giving them to my mom and my dad um they garden a lot in the summertime and even though they're wearing hats they their face still gets exposed and i especially my dad because he's got some molds on his face and i gave him one and i told him he needs to slather this on his face when he starts gardening again this spring. So that's why I went ahead and picked up more because, you know, don't know how fast he's going to go through it. Um, my mom is a little bit better about it, but not all the time. Um, I think she's like trying to be sparing when it comes to putting this stuff on. And I'm like, no, you know, um, I've actually found like Korean brands of um, sunscreen there too, as well. I've found uh, let me see, is it close enough for me to pull out? Where is it? I've found some Japanese ones that are SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. Uh, no, I can't pull it out. But anyways, um, I'm pretty stocked up. I don't even have to order from Amazon when it comes to that stuff. So I found, um, this mouse, which was on, this is brand new. It was never opened, um, for $1. So, I have no idea what I did with the mouse that came with my computer at work. I um, got a brand new computer two years ago and 
I swapped out the keyboard and the mouse with my own because I like using mechanical keyboards instead of those stupid flat ones like you know Apple I don't know whatever they call them but I hate those I can't type as as well on those type of keyboards so now that I've um quit my job turned in my gave my notice last uh just this past Monday I have to put back that original keyboard but I can't find the mouse can't find the original mouse and it's somebody else probably is using it but it doesn't matter. It's not like my job is going to be pissed because uh, it's not the original mouse. Uh, side note, my brother and his wife own the clinic. So like I said, they're not going to care. But I wanted to go ahead and just, you know, replace the mouse that's missing with one. So I purchased that just so that they have a brand new mouse, whoever's going to take over my um, computer. i um, giving this to my niece. It is a USB-C um, USB-C to lightning because she has an iPhone and this is brand new, never used. And this is a, a really, really, really long cord, which is really great for her. It's probably about 10 feet, I would think, or eight feet. So whenever I find stuff like this, I always, I always try to get it because, you know, you just never know. You always need a, a backup, um, charger and the cords. So, um, I have like tons of these, especially for travel. Um, yeah, I always want to, I'm always prepared. And when it comes to USB-C, I don't use like the regular um, cords. I get the ones for like data transfer, which is like the heavy duty ones. And here's an example, because I have one right um, next to me for this one. Like they're like these right here. I don't know if it's going to focus, but these will, um, these will actually hold up and they charge really, really fast. Okay. Uh, I found this on, um, dollar day. So yeah, distress ink. I don't know if I have salty ocean. I'll have to look. Uh, what else? Okay. So here is my biggest find yesterday. Yes. This is a Hobonichi a five cover. I believe this is from 2022 either 2022 or 2021. I saw this. It was like actually laying like this in the bin, right? And I knew exactly what it was because when I saw the loop, I was like, oh my God, is that a Hobonichi cover? Yes. Because when I picked it up, flipped it over, look at that, never used. And it was the MT collaboration. Still has everything. Like somebody purchased it, said, no, nope, not for me, returned it. And I got this for a dollar and it's still selling on Amazon for $75. So it's like, yeah, I mean, can't believe that I found that. Right. That was like my best buy yesterday. I was so happy. All right. So we're going to go over some of the stuff that I've had for a long time. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen these on um, Shein, AliExpress, Instagram, you know, uh, Temu. These are those little tiny, and I have the bigger ones. I just don't know where they are, but um, these little tiny crates, you know, that you can store stuff. So this came in a pack of five and I got this for $4. And then I have the bigger ones that came in a pack of five. And all, those were also, I think I got those for probably $2 maybe. So I always try to, when I find these, I usually will stock up on them because they just, they just come in so handy, you know? for all your washi tapes, crafty stuff, all that kind of stuff. All right. So you like notebooks? Um, I found this. It's a pack of um, notebooks, spiral ones for, I probably got this for $4, right? Um, I'm not going to show you what I wrote in there because that's personal, but it's really smooth paper, right? And yeah, it's great for journaling. Um, I have a pack of these. There's five of them. And they're also notebooks, A5, just like this one. And these have different designs. There's different animals um, for the covers. I have this one also. There's a pack, of, I think, of four. And I haven't opened it yet. Actually, I'll go ahead and open this one. Because I can give them to my nieces. Um, I'm trying to encourage them to journal, but I don't know. I think one of them might do it, but I don't know about the other one, but they do like crafty stuff, but just not paper crafts yet. 
they haven't gotten into that. All right. Ugh. So it's a harder cover than the other one. It's flimsy, but the paper is smooth enough, right? Yeah. So we have that. Um, I think I showed this in a previous um, haul. This was a pack of, and I got these for, I think, $2, the entire pack. And I sent one to Clarissa. So it's all letter sets, right? Comes with the envelopes. They're just various um, pages, see? Really, really pretty. So yeah, that, um, that was actually a good deal. And I think I even found one set for $1 when I went. I've had that for quite a while though. Um, this will fit. I actually bought this for the Moterm. This is an A5 set, the paper with the page flags. So yeah. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, I'm good. I don't need to buy any more. I've got plenty of it. I do find these type of, and these stickers, they are, they always have these, you know, these stickers that you see on Temu or like people are selling and stuff. Oh my God, I could find them packs for like 50 cents. And on top of that, these cases as well. Like I found a pack of these, like 20 of these for $4, right? And they sell them individually on um, Temu, Shein, AliExpress. So I store a lot of my um, stickers and stuff there. Uh, I'll find books. So I found this one, which was really cute. It's a, a dictionary of color combinations. I thought this would just come in handy. And I found this for a dollar, right? Look at that. And if not, I could just tear out the sheets and use them. Uh, so we're going to go look at some more of the journaling stuff. Found this. These are the various um, sticker packs. I've seen them sell it on Amazon and stuff the vintage um, girls in the different colors, right? So, like I said, I try not to go on this, the $8 or $6 day. So I might've found this for either $4 or $1. So we've got that. I need to move those actually into a case. I found this, more paper, right? So these are various, um, it's almost like it's hand, handmade paper, right? So it's kind of good for collage work. Probably found that for like a dollar. Okay. Um, okay. This pack here full of stickers, mostly floral stickers. Look at that. So pretty sure I found that probably for $4. Okay. And then I was excited when I found um, this. It was a pack and I got this probably for $4. These are all different page paper. Okay, let's open one up. Okay, so that's the cover. So yeah, it's like notepads, right? You know, you can use them in a journal um, or, you know, when you, you junk journal or collage. So they're pretty much all really good quality paper, too. Pretty smooth. But, um, yeah, I was pretty excited when I found that. Uh, what else? Oh, I know that these were pretty big, I think, during COVID, right? These aesthetic um, cards that you can put up on your uh, wall, right? So there was a time when the stores were getting a ton of these and I would just wait because they would get so much of it. Every table would have like a packet, right? So I waited until they were like a dollar, two dollars. So this one, I put this one on top purposely because it's my neighbor Totoro, right? And so, yeah, as you can see, not sure what I'm going to use them for yet. I mean, you can also, you know, frame them as well. So, um, or if my nieces, when they get to that point, when 
right now they're share, they share a bedroom, but my sister said she'll let them share a bedroom until one of them complains that they want their own bedroom and then they can take over the other bedroom. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure I know one of them already wants to kind of do a wall collage, but my sister's like, no, not yet. Okay. So we got that. Um, let's see. There were these, Oh, these stickers came with these, um, pads. Okay. I'm gonna put these back. What else do we have here? I'm trying to, I don't want to have to, okay. Here we go. I found this big ass um, set of tags and that's what I've been using to do my tags. And I got this for like $2 <laughs> and these are like, you know, legit. They're, they're, they're really heavyweight, like the file folder, like heavy um, quality. Uh, let's see. I'm just kind of looking around here. I don't want to have to rifle through anything. I found this black chalk markers, which I need to still give to my, my sister because she does wedding uh, signs and stuff. And she can definitely make use of that. Um, I'm going to be buying a new printer, um, like a, an inkjet printer, but I'm still torn as to whether I should get an Epson or a Canon. I really want to get a Canon, but in the meantime, I did find this pack here for $2 of um, HP photo paper. And you know, this stuff can be pricey. Look, it's unopened. Okay. So this is glossy four by six. So I always try to, if I find this stuff, I try to stock up on it. Cause you know, like I said, it's pretty pricey. Um, I found this die set here. Uh, it didn't have a label and I will eventually make use of it, but I thought this was really interesting. I'm not sure. I guess I need to cut out something and then figure out what that is specifically for. Um, what else? Yeah, I think, oh, so there was a time when I was finding a lot of these thermal printers. This is one of them. Um, let me, then we have this one right? You probably have seen these, um, online. We've got even Fomomo. I like paid full price for a Fomomo from Amazon, my very first one. And then I started finding these when I started shopping at those stores. I mean, I found this one for $6. It works. There's nothing wrong with it. People just like change their mind. So I gave some to my nieces. I gave one to one of my friends. Um, she wanted one. Here's another label printer. Uh, here is another from Momo. Um, I actually, I thought about doing a giveaway and I may still, um, of some of these cause it's like, I don't need this many. Right. And they're just all label printers. Right. So we got that one there. Uh, I know I gave one of my nieces this one because it's really cute. Little meow machine. You know, there's just so many different ones. I mean, people at the time did not know what these were. And so they weren't buying them. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm snapping them up, especially if they're from Momo. Um, this is another one. This one is pretty tiny too. Where is it? Oh, it's a label printer. The label printers really come in handy. Like these little, these tight. What is this? fantasy gift set. Oh yeah. I forgot that I had ordered that. I need to make use of that. No, this one I did not buy there. <laughs> that one I actually got from, I believe, um, Shein probably, I think. Uh, what else we got here? Um, I found these oh, shit. micron, uh, pens, but they're purple. Okay. But I know I can always make use of it. I found this case right? Which fits perfectly for a photo printer. I mean, a photo printer, a label maker type of thing. So I have those, that one there. Um, also here's some, another set. Like, so I found this box and I was like, Hmm, that looks familiar. Sure enough. It was these, you know, you've seen these online before. Um, if you are into like, stickers and stuff like that. So yeah, 
they were actually kind of scattered a little bit around the table. So I had to go and look for them. So I was able to find the full set, but I think I took one out. So, and I got that for $4, the whole set. And usually those go for what, two bucks each or something like that. So, all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I mean, I could just keep going on. There's just so much stuff, but um, I don't want to have to start rifling, you know, through my desk. Um, but anyways, I just encourage you to check out and see if you have one of these Amazon returns or bin stores in your area. Do a search. Just look up Amazon return store or like a bin store and see if you've got one, you know. Uh, sometimes they're called, they're called like Black Friday deals or like, you know, something kind of deals. There's always like a deals in the, in the name of the store. Um, and yeah, you know, but you just got to get there early, um, because it can be a madhouse. And, you know, like I said, people will find some really, really great stuff. Uh, I've found some electronic stuff, but I did not want to include that in this, um, video. I may talk about it in another video. So yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and a great week. All right. Bye.